Hi Taurus, it's Ellie. Welcome to my channel and welcome to your reading. Now let's begin. I've already cleansed the space and I've meditated on your cards. This reading is good for your sun, moon, rising, and your signs. And if this reading resonates for you, please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below how it resonated for you. Also, I want to say thank you to each and every one of you who have liked, shared, and subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much for supporting me here on YouTube. And thank you for supporting other tarot readers on YouTube as well. All right. I'm now accepting personal reading, so if you are interested in booking a personal reading with me, all you have to do is click on the link in the description box down below, all right? And I'm also going to link it up here. Taurus, I'm getting this connection that you're in is actually something that is very light for you. Like, um, it's like a breath of fresh air. Um, compared to the past relationships or past connections that you were in, which was... Um, there were a lot of up and ups and downs, all right? There were a lot of ups and downs, but the current relationship that you're in right now, or in current situation, current connection that you're in right now, it feels like a breeze, like things are very familiar and natural. And maybe because you're, you might be, for some of you, you might be dealing with a past connection, past life connection. Maybe this is a soulmate or maybe your twin flame, but twin flames, tend to be a little bit of a, of a different dynamic. So I'm getting maybe soulmate energy. Uh, Mercury is in retrograde, all right? Mercury is in retrograde. That's why I'm, set, uh, I'm telling you right now, a lot of people could be coming in from your past. There could be a choice, but why would you choose between someone who has done a number on you in the past versus someone who makes you feel like your best currently anyway i'm sorry if you're picking up on the noise in the background that is my dog playing anyway your overall energy taurus is the queen of wands then you have the two of wands the full card you could be dealing with an aries and then the Ace of Pentacles. The Temperance. The Six of Pentacles. And then the Eight of sword sorry my nose started becoming itchy all right okay underneath the deck is the sun all right the current connection that you're in brings you a lot of joy a lot of happiness and this is something i'm getting very much long term doesn't mean that you're gonna end up with them or going to marry them well we hope so the current energies are this is someone who sees you or sees being with you long term. It's not just a fling for this person. You bring a lot of happiness. The Wheel of Fortune, the Nine of Cups. I love it, don't you? I love it. Um, you are this person's wish come true. You know, this is a very this is a new chapter, not just in your life but also in theirs. Also in theirs. I'm getting you bring each other up. You make each other better, like a better person. All right. The Queen of Wands as your overall energy. Taurus, this person is so, so attracted to you. They, they find you so sexy. So, so sexy. Not just sexy because you're ambitious, you're beautiful, you're assertive. All right. And it's just... You're very much yourself. You express yourself. You, you are very much yourself. And you're not afraid to do that. You're not afraid to show the world who you really are. That's... You showing the world how confidently beautiful you are. And... It's one thing being attractive. 
but it's another to be confidently attractive all right confident you know who you are you know what you're capable of you know what you want all right and it it just adds it just adds to the attractiveness and this person is so attracted to you no matter how far they try i'm getting in the past this person has tried to run away from you but they tend to come back they tend to come back all right the two of wands to the temperance card this is something that you've been waiting for you've been patiently waiting for it's a big change i have to say it was a big change um you letting this person into your life was one of the biggest decisions you've ever made with regard to your love life and i'm getting you really took that chance you really took that shot but before you took that shot you really i keep on saying really <laughs> you patiently assessed you patiently waited for the right signs that this person that you should let this person into your life all right you have the full card and then the six of pentacles this is someone new all right you could be dealing with an aries but take it how it resonates you could have an aries placement but this is someone who is very much new all right uh this is a new connection spirit is highlighting to me the dog so they could it could feel like you're not just lovers but you're best friends um i'm getting that vibe i'm getting that uh that energy you took a leap of faith with this person and there's no baggage i'm getting there's no baggage with this person it feels very much balanced there's equal give and take and this person I, I, I really get that this person has become a better person every day because of you. They strive to become a better version of themselves because of you. All right? You have the Ace of Pentacles to the Eight of Swords. This is something that the universe has offered to you. It's a gift from spirit, the gift, a gift from the universe. It's something very stable and secure, and you don't have to worry about it. All right. Sometimes you're very much up in your head it, because of all the happiness. And you wonder, when will this end? Don't do that. All right. Don't do that. Don't overthink. This is something that's for you. That's really meant for you. All right. What is the outcome? Oops. This. Okay. The sun card. <laughs> Wanted to come out again. oops you have the death card and then the tower card you could be dealing with a scorpio or a leo all right take it how it resonates okay the sun the tower and the death card these are you have one two five major arcanas already all right the outcome of this the outcome of this um this reading is still a lot of happiness i'm getting you both of you are moving on to a better chapter all right to a better chapter you're going to take that leap leap of faith forward you're going to be surprised at how this person will take things forward and i'm getting on a very positive note all right on a very positive note i love it what is the advice? Alright. You have the Two of Cups. The Nine of Swords. And then the Wheel of Fortune. That is your sixth major arcana. Alright. Advice for you. Get some sleep. Alright. Get some beauty sleep as much as beauty sleep as much as you can. Stop being anxious, alright? Your health will be at risk. I heard, just heard that for some reason. I rarely say that. 
I actually have never said that ever. Your health will be at risk if you don't sleep, get enough sleep, right? Stop being anxious about it, whatever you're anxious about. You have the Wheel of Fortune. This is a new chapter. Luck is on your side, all right? Be aware of synchronicities. Be aware of synchronicities. All right? And then, the two of, you could be seeing a lot of twos, all right? Two, two, twos could be very significant for you. You have the two of cups. This is your perfect match, I have to say. There's a lot of equal give and take. All right. For some reason, spirit is highlighting to me all the circles. All right, circles, round, you know. It's a very lucky turn of events for you. I love it. Other messages, please. very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now so there is a decision that maybe you how you want to take things forward manifest it clearly in your head it will come out and then religious factors your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path doesn't mean it's a bad thing all right it's not a bad thing um but take it how it resonates. Sorry, that was my dog. And then there's something better. Something better that this person will be offering. Alright? Doesn't mean something better, someone better. Something better that this person is offering. Alright? All right, you have wealthy man. Maybe this person is very wealthy. I love it. Okay. And then, sorry. And then you have house. All right, so this person could have their own home. This pertains regarding the family, all right? So... They're just giving to me close, close knit ties. So maybe um, you know each other, all right? Because of family, or you've met each other through family members, or this person is very much close knit with their family, or you could be close knit with your family. Take it how it resonates. So that's all I have for you, Taurus. I hope something in this reading resonated. And if it did, please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below how it resonated for you. I love you all so much. I'll see you in the next reading and stay blessed.